Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hellion. Uh, yes, it has been a few days since I've had an episode up. I've been trying to do little mining runs, trying to repressurize the station. Needless to say, it's in terrible shape. I've got no nitrogen, everything's like 0.7 and 60%. So I've been trying to get this all pressurized, and I realize that's not going to happen unless I, you know, get some proper mining going. So I'm going to go and pick up a cargo bay today. But in order to get a cargo bay, I need to have room for it. So what I've done is I've actually gone out to Broken Marble, picked up a team module here. Uh, there's actually one I found in a high orbit, and I went to go check it out, and I had a command module t next to it, so I figured it was somebody else's station, so I left that one be. But dropped this one off. It's about 40%. It's got a fire hazard, so it's got some work to do on it. But what I'm going to do with this T-module is I'm going to undock Ender's ship here. And I'm going to take the airlock off. I'm going to put a T-module here and then put an airlock on either side. And that should leave just enough room past my, uh, his crew quarters to put a ship here and a ship here. And then we can dock the cargo bay over here because that airlock will go over here somewhere. But anyways, uh, time to go and uh, check out this cargo bay, or this uh, T-module, see how bad a shape it is. That's weird. I have no life support, but my, my air pressure went up. Makes no sense. Alright. Uh, yeah, and I figured it, sh it should work out pretty good. I'm actually curious to see how the refinery on the cargo bays are now. Maybe uh, they have a higher capacity, a higher rate, they might have a higher power usage but we got the reactor up here so as long as it's grappled we can power it so that is not a problem uh, only problem is is trying to get everything pressurized I spent a lot of time it doesn't help much it takes you 20 minutes to go on a mining run and then you come back to spend 45 minutes refining everything because you can only do so much at a time and it takes three minutes to do 100 units if you bring back 1300 units then it's gonna it's gonna take you a little while to refine everything it's not like they have any automation oh. got that sun on my face again I'm not gonna go inside because I don't want to really run the risk of losing any air pressure that might actually be in there but then chance stars could be depressurized anyways I do see a warp cell, that's, so that is handy. Uh, Alright, let's see if there's anything I can fix on the outside here. Uh, it does not look like it. Looks like it's all internal. So with that being said, what I need to do is... I need to first undock his ship, then undock the airlock, then dock that, then dock the airlocks and then redock the ships. So I'm gonna go in and get this all taken care of and I'll bring you back when I got everything all put back together. Alright, so I got everything moved into place. So I got the T section there, I got an airlock at either end. Uh, one for Ender's ship there, one for my ship over here, and cargo bay should fit right in here. I'm not gonna worry too much about a life support module just yet. Uh, you know, we need uh, life support before we need something to manage it with. So now, now I head off to uh, Everest. We're going to go head out to Everest and look for a cargo bay. And maybe we'll be lucky. Who knows? Anyways, I shall, sh I shall see you there. All right, I'm out at Everest now. Uh, I just happened to find one right away. Uh, again, I'm always worried about turrets on these things. But hopefully... Seeing as how we're around better anyways, we shouldn't have to really worry about stuff like that. Uh, and it seems to be in fairly good condition, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and grapple it. And then, uh, then we'll figure it out from there. We'll probably just bring it straight home, see what we got to uh, refine on it. Alright, we want standard docking port. Where is that thing? There it is. And hopefully we got a lot of resources. I actually just remembered too, we got that uh, warp cell box on there. 
So maybe we can find a few more warp cells. I did find one on that T module, because I did get it from uh, Broken Marble. Now, where are those tubes? I see it. I see them. All right, hopefully this isn't in bad shape. As long as I can warp it home. That's all that matters. Uh, now that we have this, we're definitely going to have to find a servo motor or two just to make things a little more efficient as far as power goes. But then you never know what we could have on here. We could have a couple hundred units of deuterium and not even have to worry about power ever again. But let us see. I'm pretty sure there's a status panel right inside the airlock too, so we might be able to check the status of it, see if it's gonna blow up on the way home. I can only imagine the well, actually, I have seen explosions on these. Oh yes, I gotta change my jetpack out again. Oh yes, we do have a little bit of a repair to do. Uh, did spawn today, so you know the health shouldn't be too bad. It's not exactly passing through the debris field. So let's see what we have in store. I wonder if they're ever going to implement a mechanic with their decay, where if you get decay on your cargo cargo bay module, that you end up losing resources because a storage container, like the IC modules. Ooh. Okay. And that did not want to line up. <laughs> Let's try this again. as soon as the cargo bay stops moving. I'm hoping I didn't actually cause any more damage than it already is. Yeah, usually stuff like that happens when you're not lined up 100%. And this thing just wants to keep on rotating, doesn't it? I think so. Well, anyways, I'm going to get this thing docked up and uh, bring it back home, and I'll uh, meet you there. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I have the cargo bay. I did do a few repairs that I could get from the outside. Uh, it looks like everything else is going to be internal. But my concern right now, and I think I should be okay just because of the extension of this and how narrow the cargo bay is itself, but... I don't know if I'm going to have enough room to get this in there. I might end up hitting the other ship. Oh, there's the damage. Let's fix that up while I'm here. I think that's causing this so-called breach above me. It's possible. But you never know. Oh, well, that was it, too. Oh, perfect. So let's do this and this and... And we gotta cycle through all these docking ports. There we go. Back end of my ship. And we want the command module. Docking port D, which is gonna be this way. Oh, it's too far. And up we go. So I'm gonna. Dock right on that docking port. Oh yeah, there's going to be enough room. I was also looking at the the power display after I docked just to make sure there wasn't a turret on it. The refinery is expensive as far as power goes. 3,000 units of power per second compared to 
the refinery on the outpost, which is 500. So, yeah, it better be, it better be worth it. So what I'm going to do is, as, as always, I'm going to cut the boring bits out here and uh, get this all docked up and, and then I'll dock my ship and then I'll bring you back once I'm all put together here. Unless, of course, something goes wrong and I'll bring you back for that. Before I go back inside, I thought I'd show these off. Uh, the external turret stands. There's actually one there and one over on that corner. I don't know if there's any more, but the more time I spend outside, the more of these I start to see. So you could literally have, like, on a station like this, you could have probably 10 or 12 turrets just on the outside alone, but you probably need a small power plant just to, to run them all. But anyways, I'll see you back inside the station. Okay, I'm back on the station. Uh, I just had to go and fill up a couple of jetpacks. I know I could probably take it off right now, but the air quality isn't the greatest, and I like to keep my health in the best of shape I can. As you can see, it's not exactly the greatest here. So now where did I put that cargo bay? I believe it was on D, because that's where I had my ship docked. I think this is it. Let's find out. I already did check. There are some resources. Oh, and we have a fire. No problem. No way to put a fire out than with hydrogen. Come on. There you are. Just reach it. That's funny how it tells you that there's a fire after you've already found it and you already started working on it. All right. And that is everything. Okay. Oh, we got another helmet. Not that we need it. Anything in here? Nope. Nope. Nothing in there. I thought these had these lockers. I guess not. So now, let's, uh... I guess I have to pressurize, depressurize. Oh, pressurize. Alright. Oh, wait, that's not even to pressurize because I don't even have any life support running right now. So we will do that, and oh yeah, it's on the side. All right, let's go inside and see what we can find. No turrets, I hope. No. I haven't even been in the cargo bay since since the new updates, so I have no idea what what we're in for. We'll definitely go upstairs and see what's in there, too. And... Done. Unfortunately, with the resources that are on the, in the cargo bay right now, there's not exactly enough to repressure the station. I think I've seen... There was 300 nitrates. Ooh! Hey, we got shelves in here now. Oh, that's so much better. They had those boxes there, and they were kind of useless. Wow, we got repairs to do everywhere around here. Hey, and storage boxes. With parts. Ooh. That's Christmas. I like this. This is this is nice. This is how a cargo bay is supposed to be. It's not supposed to be a place for that. And what is there? Warning. Uh, I have no idea. Let's check the rest of these boxes. Because a servo motor would come in really handy. Wow, there's a lot of boxes in here. <laughs> nice. One more box. And we didn't get a single servo motor. And there's no turret up there. We still have the two two, stir two turret stands in here. Oh. Come on. I want to weld that. And I don't think that panel's been working yet. Like the one that drops down. I don't know what it's supposed to be, if it's supposed to be for power supply or not, but yeah, let's find out. Oh, still broken. So let's see what we got in here. So we got a lot of hydrogen, we got nitrogen, that's gonna go on the outpost. Uh have some nitrate materials. Oh, that's so exp so expensive. See how fast it does it, though. Wow, a capacity of 1,000.
and I guess it's not gonna work in there. I guess I have to do it from a different different terminal. Uh, let's see if we got anything else hiding around here. Let's see, they used to have that warp drive box, but we have it over here now. So now I'm wondering if the floor still moves down. Oh, it does. Where's the button for that? Uh, I guess he took it out. Yeah, I don't know what that sound was about. Alright, well, I guess we can't lower the deck anymore. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, there's a warp drive box here. With no warp cells. Huh. No goodies yet. Well, we did find a catalyst, but I'm going to find so many of those things now, it doesn't really matter. But the cool thing is, where I have this thing parked, if we open the door, this door I'm working on right now, we should be able to see Ender's ship. Let's do that just for the help, just for the fun of it. And open, please. There's a ship right there. Love it. Definitely going to come in handy when we go mining. Alright, now let's go check upstairs, see what we have up here. See if there's anything of interest or value or rarity. Now can I get off here without dropping down? That was always, always been a problem. Let's try to get off that ladder. Let's get this fixed. And then we'll see what we have here. And then I'm probably going to do a little bit of a little bit of refining, a little bit of work. Try to see what I can do for the pressure situation. And I guess uh, we're going to have to go do some mining next episode. Take the cargo bay out to an asteroid and just fill this thing completely full of nitrates. I actually wanted to see what the cargo capacity is. So I should go check that out quickly here. Six thousand. That is really nice. Really good. And then of course we have the storage capacities on the other vehicles. So we are we are set. But anyways, I'm gonna call the episode here. I got a I got a bunch of work to do. I really love these shelves down here now. This is great. But they uh, definitely took out the the lowering floor, I think that used to be right here. Well, yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you next time. See you in the next one. Later.